What's up, guys? I hope you all are having a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. So weird. So, guys, we want to have some fun today. We heard about a list or questions or something. They're called Disney tag videos. Um, our friends over at The Leg Life actually did it. I say friends because we're invested in their YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, if they ever watch ours, I would freak out. Um, but we love them. And they did this Disney tag video, and we thought it would be fun to do it too. Yes. We're kind of going to do ours a little bit different. We're going to write our answers down on these dry erase boards. Hopefully the reflection will be bad and you guys will be able to see our answers. So, all right, let's get into the first question. Now, just for a disclaimer, we have not discussed these questions. No, we've, well, we've read them out loud. Yes. Like I read them out loud to Panda, but I have, we haven't talked about our answers at all. Right. And of course we can't do a Disney tag video without Disney shirt and mini ears because yeah. rose gold is just the way to go. I didn't put any of mine on there. Okay, so question number one. What is your favorite Disney movie from the decade you were born? So both of us were born in the 1980s. 1980s. That so, is a big stretch of movies. Which one's your favorite? Do, 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 do. We probably should have set a timer. Yeah, because... Uh, Come on. Hand on my phone. No, you can't cheat. I gotta look at the list. Okay. Disney movies. All right. So I... Why are you yelling? <laughs> okay. Now that you've cheated. I didn't really cheat. You did. Because yep. we you didn't know. we didn't say that they had to be necessarily cartoons. No. Just Disney movies. Okay. So mine is The Little Mermaid. Um, as a child, I used to sing this. And I have a brother with autism who would do this the sounds of Sebastian falling down when she was in like her cave of all of her things um, while we were driving in the car. So it has good family memories for me. Okay, mine is Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. So can I tell you what I thought you would pick? What? The Brave Little Toaster. That is a good one. But okay. I thought you really loved that movie. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, guys, it came out in 1989. And that's one of the things I had to look up to think about the exact timeline of things. I've watched that movie so, so, so many times. You yeah. would not believe how many times I watched that movie. Okay, ready for question number two? Question number two. What, Which Disney movie do you think is overrated? Ooh, some people aren't gonna like this. Time limit, dude. Okay, you go first. Tron. Tron. The old one and the new one. I. What's the big deal? Like, I'm excited about the coaster because it's a ride. Right. But the movie itself, it's. A little too much. Is it because you don't necessarily like science fiction type movies? Right. Okay. But, like, it just... I don't understand why people get so so hype about it. It's just not my thing. No, I liked Avatar. Okay. And I like Pandora and Animal Kingdom. But there wasn't a lot of hype about that. There was just hype about Pandora. There was... But with Tron, like, people are serious Tron fans. And I just don't get it. Way okay. too much for me. So, this one is going to make some people mad at me. <laughs> I like the movie, but I think it's overrated. It's just too much. Is somebody me? I don't know. <laughs> 
There are parts of this movie that I can recite and quote when I watch it, but it's not something like, oh yeah, I gotta watch this. Okay, so here we go. Boom. Mulan? Mulan. It's, it's a good story, but it's just not. You know? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Don't hate me. <laughs> number three. What scene from a Disney movie makes you cry every time you watch it? Okay. So mine is Coco and Miguel's duet in Coco. The Remember Me duet at the end. Oh, okay, just... I forgot about that part. That part makes me cry a little bit, too. Uh, for me, when my dad was sick and getting ready to pass, I know that sounds kind of dark, but I would sing to him, and that's how he remembered me. So, yeah. Just think about it. It makes me want to cry. Okay, your turn. Mine is the beginning of Up. Okay? Listen. I'm a... Uh... I don't like to see people die. And the fact that they loved each other so much. That's sad. It's sad. Now, if we would have been talking about including Marvel in this, not gonna lie, when Tony Stark died in Endgame, I teared up a little. Yeah. Because I'm a big Iron Man fan. Everybody else that died, I'm like, oh, okay. Spider-Man. He was really upset that it wasn't Captain America, for it sure. It should have been. Okay. okay. Um, number four. Who is your favorite Disney sidekick? Oh, yeah. All right, go. Abu. Abu. I love me some Abu. He's so cute. And cuddly but mischievous and he's fun. I like him a lot. Mine is Mater. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Mater's funny. Because he can you know, he's Lightning McQueen sidekick. He gets things done. He's the man. He can drive he's backwards. funny. He can drive backwards. <laughs> you can't get to where you're going without knowing where you've been. You know what I'm saying? You guys know. Yeah. Alright, this is my favorite question. Okay. Who is your favorite Disney villain? Not the villain that's most scary or most terrifying. Like, who is your favorite villain? I already know yours. Okay. Maleficent. Okay. I love me some Maleficent. She does. The live action. The animated. She's waiting for her. The next movie to come. I can't wait. I'm so excited. All right, so mine, Scar. That's a good one. But he doesn't really change. Like, he's just always mean. Like, there's no soft side to him. But he's very sarcastic, um, which you have to love that. Um, his song, he has one of the best villain songs. I have that on my iPhone. How did you feel about that song being changed in the new live action? Didn't appreciate it. Yeah. Didn't love it at all. I don't love the soundtrack from the new video. No. But, or the new movie. The new movie's good. Don't yes. be wrong. But the soundtrack, it's lacking. One of the cool things that they added to the movie and to the soundtrack is when they're, um, Timon and Pumbaa are going through the jungle and they sing... A wee 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 and then Nala came, comes out and scares all the animals and they scream and run. Yeah. That I like how they added the depth yeah, to that scene. That was yeah. good. I like it a lot. All right, number six. Number six. Which Disney character would be your best friend? And these people um, are actual people in my life. Like they embody actual people in my life. Are you done yet? No, you got three. I gotta have three. You don't have to have three. And... You don't have to have three. Two okay, I got two. I got two. Okay. Mine is Timon and Pumbaa. Who's Timon in your life? I can't say who's who. <laughs> who's um, Pumbaa? But you know. 
who you are. And then uh, Jasmine, Princess Jasmine. Who's Jasmine? You know who you are. As long as I know. I'm going to find out. You do know. Stop. All right, guys. My best friend off top number one would be Donald Duck. He's, that's like a bromance. It's not a best friend. He would be my best friend. And Olaf would be like my second best friend. Yeah. He likes summer and warm hugs. Yeah. I like Olaf. He's funny. I like Josh Gad a lot too. Big fan of him. Okay. Um, number seven. If you could choose one Disney pet... Who would it be? All of my answers are kind of about one movie. Isn't that weird? Okay. Mine would be Raja. Because I've always wanted a tiger. <laughs> and Raja is spunky and protective. And yeah. Mine would be Pluto. Oh, look, you did the signature. How cool. Bit. I think that's On the O, oh, yeah. Because yeah. so cool. Noah loves Pluto. And yes. Pluto's cool. And he goes after Chip and Dale, who don't like Donald. So, yeah. I really wish we were vlogging back then. So, y'all, on our anniversary trip, we went to Garden Grill in Epcot for breakfast and you meet Farmer Mickey, Pluto, Chippendale. Yes. This, yeah, those are That's the four characters. Four. So, of course, we're wearing our Disney gear. Panda is wearing a Donald Duck shirt. And I don't remember if it was Chip or if it was... I want to say it was Chip. He came around and made him move his Just Married button to cover Donald Duck's face. And then, like, came back around and was like... It was like, hilarious. To make sure I was dying cackling. Like hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. So then Pluto comes back around and starts giving me kisses, and I'm like dying in laughter. Like it was the best character experience yes. we ever, ever had. had. Yeah. Ever had for sure. Um at a dining restaurant. Right. That trip was full of like perfect magical moments too, though. So yeah. It was fun. They were like, Garden Girl is the way to go. They were like, uh, you guys don't have kids, so we're going to play with you. <laughs> it was really early in the morning. There weren't a lot of people there. Yeah. And another thing with characters, this is way off topic, but with characters, they give what you give. So if you're interactive and if you laugh and if you have fun, they're going to interact and laugh and have fun too. And my laugh is very loud. Very loud. Um, yeah, so everyone could hear it. Fun times. Okay, number eight. Which Disney voice actor would you most like to meet? Mine's easy. Go ahead. Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Maui. Oh, yeah, that's a good yeah. one. Yeah. You know, he used to be a wrestler. I'm still a big wrestling fan. He's just all around cool guy. Just recently saw his new movie with um, Jason Statham, however you say his name. I think that's right. Good movie. Good guy. All right, good guy. All right, my three. Okay. Um, my legendary is Tom Hanks because I've been a fan for a long time. Um, Josh Gad because I mean it's Olaf, like that's his voice most of the time. So I think that would be pretty cool. And the last one is Kristen Bell because you will need a little bit of spunk in your life. And I feel like she can just give that to me. Yeah. And she's a big person who likes to do a lot of charity work. And she's really cool like that. Yeah. yeah. Number nine. Which is your all-time favorite Disney soundtrack? Not one song. The whole soundtrack is your favorite Disney soundtrack. Tangled. I love me some Rapunzel. And I love that the soundtrack kind of pulls me through the whole movie. It's one of my favorites. Lion King. Which one? The original one. Okay. Yeah, not that new soundtrack. 
the original Lion King. Please tell us how you really feel. I don't care for it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Me either. Okay, this one's going to be really hard. Okay. Like, really, really hard. I don't think so. Let's go. Number 10. What is the funniest Disney movie? Ooh. That I last... I remember laughing... I remember laughing the most at these two movies. Okay. All right. The first one is Frozen. What is, what is, what is that right there? A slash. Oh, okay. I'll erase my slash. Excuse me. I put me. Frozen as well. Frozen and The Incredibles. Where's my super suit? Like, pretty funny. Yeah, I say Frozen mainly because of Olaf and yeah, for sure. the spin that uh, Josh Gad puts on Olaf. So guys, let us know down in the comments what your answers to these questions would be. Um, we are definitely interested in your opinions and all of those things. Yes. There's just, the, the problem with some of these questions is that if you haven't seen a lot of Disney movies, your answers are pretty much going to be the same. Well, I have seen a lot of Disney movies and mine were still all the same. <laughs> I just have some favorites. Yeah. I can me too. And if we would have added like cartoon Disney cartoon shows into this, like mine would have had like Darkwing Duck, like Maybe we'll do that for the next one. This one's the movie edition. Or um DuckTales with Magic of Despair. Yeah, I'm just feeling wild. Darkwing Duck, Gizmo Duck, Rescue Rangers. Who remembers Rescue Rangers? Ch -ch 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 Rescue Rangers. Ch -ch -ch Do y'all see what I have to live with? Do you see this? Just imagine that walking around <clears throat> dancing. That's my life. In Walmart. He's not kidding. It's it's real. All right, guys, we definitely thank you for tuning in and hanging out with us. Uh, we love you guys so much. Remember to like and subscribe. Um, leave your comments about these questions in below, you know, below, down there, down there. And share our video with your friends. Yes. Don't forget to share this video everywhere. See y'all next time. Bye.